steps inside the locker room. Players' final few moments to prepare for the game and the task ahead. Terrific shot of Nathan Phillips Square here in downtown Toronto. Welcome, everybody, to another presentation of the NBA Live on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here, joined by our analysts, Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. Plus, reporting from the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. DA, take it away. Hey, Kevin, if you'll allow a D.C. kid to be a little parochial right now, while there are some basketball hotbeds throughout the world, Prince George's County in the heart of Maryland is among the finest. A litany of NBA players have come from PG, including Kevin Durant, Victor Oladipo, Markel Fultz, Michael Beasley, and Quinn Cook. KD said, it's just in the water. This is what we do. Guys? Great stuff as always, DA, thanks. Now the starting group for Orlando. Gary Harris is out there with Markel Fultz. Then there's Carter. Then there's Jonathan Isaac. And it's Porter in at the three. And for Toronto. Ananobi and Siakam in at the forward slots. Right Van bleed out there with Lowry. And it's Boucher in at the five spot. And so off the tip, it's Toronto. Here's Siakam. Sent back by Isaac. You can see the long wingspan of Jonathan Isaac coming into play twice on the pipes. And, and just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. Now here's Van Vliet. Back to Lowry. Six on the shot clock, and it's Otto Porter with the foul. That's his first foul. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Some intimidation right away. Got to show those shooters you're going to be there all night long. Magic on defense. Lowry, good. What you see is continued improvement in his ability to create for others. Great to see OG Ananobi make the open read. And with Kyle Lowry, the, the assist numbers don't jump off the page at you, but he has fantastic vision, and his decision-making is also elite. Greg, for me, what stands out about Kyle Lowry is his willingness to adjust his game based on what his team needs. There's been times in his career where he's been a go-to scorer and his three-point shooting can be infectious to his team. That toughness on the drive really strikes you. But there's also been times where he takes a back seat to scoring and says, all right, time to get my guys involved. He can do either. Now think back to the 2017 draft, guys. Some were surprised to see Markel Fultz be the first pick. And when you think back on that draft, there's certainly a lot of what ifs. And that one goes in, too, from the line that time. And Doris, one thing that's never been an issue for Fultz, that handle. Great at navigating in traffic for himself or creating opportunities for his teammates. All right, Markel is so adept at using change of pace, change of direction. It's a little bit of a herky-jerky motion. He'll lull you to sleep and then out of nowhere cross you over. This guy is fun to watch. There's no hesitation in catch-and-shoot situations for Pascal Siakam. He has turned himself into a legitimate threat. Now, here's Fultz. And a wide-open look for Porter. They get it again. Carter. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Well, just it's easy to say. This guy wanted it more. Creating the second-chance opportunity and cashing in. Van Vliet passes to Siakam. And the call will be against Harris. That is his first foul of the game. That's his first first foul. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. 
Good ball movement here by the Raptors. Pass to Lowry. Down to five on the shot clock. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. Lowry's got five points so far. Well, there is absolutely no doubt that Kyle Lowry can shoot with range. He can make you pay from out there. Harris kicks to Fultz. And finished off by Fultz. Some power coming from the PG. Ah, that's right, GA. Seeing more and more of that these days. Backcourt guys who can elevate. We know versatility is huge in this game. Just a tremendous job finishing that play. Wow. There is an imagination, a creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. From 12 feet out, misses off the right iron. Raptors with the lead. In the corner, it's Van Vliet. And again, Toronto with a triple. Wow, what an easy look Kyle Lowry creates for his teammates. One of the best setup men in the entire league. Carter outside. The shot, no good. Raptors leading by five. Their offense has been great here. Yeah, the ball movement has been terrific, and they've kept the defense off balance. A toughness being shown right there by Kyle Lowry. There's no doubt he is this team's ball. He will finish and head to the line. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. And last season, 86% from the line. So he's always had that calm presence at the line, no matter the situation. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. He throw good Lowry. Boy, Kyle Lowry has carved out for himself quite the career. This guy came in as a dogged defender, and on the offensive end, he's able to create for both himself and his teammates. Now, here's Fultz. He's got six. And stolen by Siakam. Van Vliet outside. Floats one. And it's sent back by Isaac. Up top, Volts. Back to Isaac. Six to shoot. He kicks to Volts. The Magic again can't hit. Raptors leading by eight. Van Vliet wide open. Nailed from three point land. Van Vliet's got six. Where they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. And it'll be Orlando with their first time out of the game right here. I mean, the improvement that we've seen from Siakam, it's like nothing else I've ever seen. He, he's a huge reason for the success of this Raptors team. But Greg, in two short years, this guy triples his output from the floor. He goes from a guy who was getting spot minutes, couldn't really get into the rotation, to an all-star. The transition game, his ability to use that speed, and then his approach, the work habits, both of those two things have been critical to his growth. Trail by 11. Now here's Fultz. Six points for him. Inside. Count that one from Isaac. This is encouraging to see Jonathan Isaac finish through contact. He obviously will fill out that frame and add some weight, but the balance really impressive. Now here's Siakam. And it's sent back by Isaac. Here's Harris. It's blocked. And oh, here we go. Lowry's got the fast break chance. And it's blocked. And it's Harris off the drive. Lays it up and banks it in. Well, Markel Fultz continues to develop his floor awareness. Passes like that will create all kinds of chemistry. Here's Lowry. That's his fourth basket of the game. And he's only taken four shots off to a good start. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Here's Okiki. 
Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Here's Fultz. Harris outside. Stolen by Van Vliet. Stolen by Carter. And here's Harris from the arc. No good. He's off to a slow start. One for four so far. Well, this has not been a quarter to remember for this guy. He looks completely flustered. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to summon up a little more sense of urgency. Now, here's Fultz. He's got six. And finished off by Fultz. Boy, there's big time athleticism in the body of Markel Fultz. Get up, young sir. Lowry against Fultz. Van Vliet passes to Lowry. Down low. Van Vliet with the bucket. Van Vliet's got 10 points in the game. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. Hey, Greg, you played in a different era of NBA defense. When you look at how defense is played now in the league, how do you feel about it? You know, Kevin, I, I think the introduction of the zone, by and large, has been great. Uh, you, you get a lot more switching, uh, and I think it brings more skill into the game. Don't, don't get me wrong. I, I do miss the physicality that we had back in the 90s, but I tell you what, right now, my body wishes I had the opportunity <laughs> to play in this era. I bet it does. Bombez checked in for Wendell Carter. James Ennis comes in for Jonathan Isaac. Ross is checked in for Gary Harris. And Anthony subbed in for Fultz. Here's Okiki. No points in the game yet for him. Anthony, the pass to Ross. Over Trent. Another miss by Orlando. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. The shot's good. And the Raptors lead by 13. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip, and guys are making their shots. That's critical. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance That's here good. for one more at the line. Well, this guy's going to find his way to get the ball in the bucket. Contact or not, Terrence Ross can flat score the basketball. The Magic have had two chances at the line already, making them both. And their numbers from the line last season, they're good, just not great. About 77% as a team. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. It's a 10-point game. the pass to Trent. That's in, coming off an assist from Lowry. Lowry's got four assists in the game. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. Now here's Anthony. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Okiki. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Anthony against Lowry. Pass to Trent. Back to Lowry. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. Now Anthony. Passes to Ross. To the paint. Just five to shoot. A nice shot by Okiki. Yeah, great anticipation of where the open man was going to be. And Terrence Ross finds him immediately. That's really pretty. Lowry for three. And it's Orlando with the rebound. Pass to Okiki. The shot. 
No good. So the Raptors will take it the other way. To the inside, Trent. He dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. They've been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. On the offensive end, it feels like they're getting the shots they want, and defensively, they are connected and on a string. Now here's Anthony. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Listen, that's a shot he can make, but obviously the defense okay letting him shoot it. The pass to Birch. The dish now to Lowry. Back to Birch. That falls. Nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. Nice pass here to set that basket up. The Magic trail by 16. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Shot from the wing, and that one goes long. Just doing the job on the backboard. 103 left to play in the first quarter. Pass to Lowry. Payne's trying to get open. Off target with his three. Orlando's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Another miss by Orlando. Raptors leading by 16 to the left wing. Three-pointer, Lowry. Ross grabs the board. 32 seconds left to play in the first. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. The Magic shooting their fourth attempt at the free throw line right here. Stanley Johnson, he's checked in for Hood. Then for the Magic, Hampton comes in for James Ennis, and it's Carter Williams in for Anthony. There's 31 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Outside Lowry. It's deflected, and he's able to get it back. Beans with no one around. Nice open look, but it's no good. Here's Bamba, and the dunk by Bamba. Boy, you better keep the seven-footer Mo Bamba away from the cup. What an easy finish. Stolen by Bamba. And a double-digit lead on the scoreboard as we end the first quarter of play. Toronto ahead, up 11. We'll be back shortly, live from Toronto. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And for the Raptors, this has been the game they wanted to have. Yeah, in that first period, they look to push in transition at every opportunity. And why wouldn't they? You see their effectiveness in the open floor. Very difficult to slow down. The Magic trail by 11. We've got Aaron Baines, Lowry out there with Johnson. And it's Trent in at the shooting guard. That's the group for Toronto to start the second quarter. Terrence Ross, that's good. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. Here's Trent. Porter pulls it in. I'll tell you, everything went right in terms of execution. He just can't get it to go. It's good. You know, the basketball IQ on display for Otto Porter makes the right read there. Toronto leading by seven. Here's Lowry. And it goes down two points. Challenging the bigger defender, cutting him down to size with that one. It is not an easy task trying to convert against length. Give him credit for taking on that challenge. Now here's Carter Williams. Swiped away. Passes it to Trent. That falls. Nice speed that time from Kyle Lowry. Lowry's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Second quarter, we're a little over a minute and a half in. Hunter Williams finds Porter. No good on the triple. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Toronto Raptors. At one point, they led by 16. Pass to Trent. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. 
Trench got 10 points in the game. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Deep two from Ross. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Lowry deciding where to go with it here. His three-pointer is off the mark. Not sure why he keeps trying his luck from deep here. It's just not his night. The Magic again can hit. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Greg, I think of you in a New York Knicks uniform, legendary arena you played in. What was that experience like? Kevin, intense. I, I remember the first time I suited up in a preseason game. We played the Dallas Mavericks. Both teams went up and down the court three times, and nobody scored, and the fans started booing. And that's break. when I knew this is a little bit Two different. Uh, you better bring your A game. And thicker skin, correct? That, too. Yeah, and <laughs> fortunately, there was no social media or Internet back then. Goodness gracious. <laughs> A new group in now for the Raptors. Chris Boucher is checked in for Aaron Baines. Pascal Siakam comes in for Cam Birch. Ananobi, he's checked in for Stanley Johnson. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Kyle Lowry. Orlando also making some changes. Carter, he's checked in for Bamba. Jonathan Isaac comes in for Terrence Ross. And Markel Fultz is subbed in for Carter Williams. Now, here's Hampton. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Porter against Siakam. And that one's good by Porter. Well, Otto Porter will utilize this area of the floor. If he's in the mid-range, you better have a hand up. Siakam with it. Now guarded by Fultz. Offensive rebound. And the shot goes in from Siakam. Siakam's got five. You're fighting to keep the possession alive, something this guy does so well. Here's Fultz. The kick out to Porter. Lock at six. Carter with the bucket. Well, what a terrific possession. Attack in the painted area. Raptors leading by 13. Van Vliet with it. He's got 10, and it's off the back rim. No good. Van Vliet against Fultz. Makes it off the glass. He's got 10. Well, this is what's evolving over time, right? Markel Fultz running the pick and roll. Such a precise play. And it's sent back by Isaac. And he recovers it. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. Hampton, the basket good off the assist from Fultz. Fultz has got three assists now in this one. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Now, here's Siakam. He's got five, and so the ball goes out of bounds. Isaac touched it last. The Raptors making a switch here. Hood's checked in, and a switcher also for Orlando. Gary Harris is checked in for Hampton. And here are the Raptors now. At one point, they led by 16. Five to shoot. Hood can't get it to go. The Magic trail by nine. Fultz looking around. On the way, Harris. You're not pretty. You just got to shake off a miss like that. Hood with it, now guarded by Fultz. Now the pass to Siakam. There's another block. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim, love the hustle. Well, this guy not shy about putting it on the deck and attacking the defense. Porter working his way to the stripe. Orlando shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game.
Porter. No good on the free throw. I think the thing I like best about Otto Porter, his versatility and long arms, because it allows him to impact the game in so many ways. And he sinks the second. Raptors leading by eight. Carter comes in with the double team. Now, here's Boucher. Van Vliet finds Boucher. Back to Van Vliet. Shot clock at six. And a wide open look for Siakam. And again, no good by Toronto. Well, this is the night you look at your teammates and tap them on the back and say, good job, because for him, he's been struggling all night. Fultz, the pass to Carter. Wide open shot is on the money. Six points for Wendell Carter. Well, you can see Markel Fultz starting to get comfortable, understanding how to thread the pass through the defense. Here's Siakam. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. Now, Harris. It's deflected, and he gets it back. Goes up again. Here's Carter. Raptors leading by six. Tipped away. Isaac with the steal. Porter dishes to Fultz. Carter outside. Kicks it to Harris. Orlando moving the ball around. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. You know, winning that championship as you did, Greg, for UNLV, many people don't remember you played much of that season with a broken jaw. Well, Kevin, I don't remember much of it, to be honest with you. Uh, hmm. It was pretty hazy. I lost 19 pounds over the course of the season. Oh, I was goodness. championship night. I was 168 pounds. No and, uh, kidding. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was wired wow. shut for eight weeks. Didn't miss a game, but I tell you what, I don't know if I would do that today, but, you know, it, it, it did turn out well with the championship as I recall you broke it against Fresno State correct yes yeah got my legs taken out of, uh, from oh. under me and broke the fall with my face oh <laughs> yeah oh ouch and momentum going the other way can, can they find some answers I think here you have just got to get back to what you do best and then live with the results Jay kicks to Van Vliet, and he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And it's Orlando's ball. A 14-2 run over the last bit. Hood against Fultz. Here's Carter. Boucher with the rebound. Boucher's got his fourth rebound in this one. To Siakam. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end. Certainly, he cannot buy a bucket right now. Boy, Jonathan Isaac comes out of Florida State back in 2017. Sixth overall pick. Obviously, with that high a pick, you think, oh, he's come out of his career a little bit slow. But this team believes in his upside and is committed to building with him. He's off on the first. And with Isaac, there is a lot to like. He could be a huge two-way forward 
for this team. Right Greg a modern NBA big has got to develop a consistent perimeter game which Isaac is working on. This guy's a big time finisher right now. So with that frame and that age this guy's upside absolutely tremendous. Toronto with the ball. Van Vliet looking around. Hood the pass to on an open. Here's Hood. Shot clock at five. Poked loose. And so it looks like the Raptors will retain possession here. Some changes for Toronto. Stanley Johnson comes in for OG Ananobi. And it's Kyle Lowry in for Hood. Shot clock at two. And again, Toronto no luck. On offense, here are the Magic. Outpacing them right now in a 15-2 run. Here's Anthony trying to get open his cart. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. Lowry passes to Siakam. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. We have seen Pascal Siakam's confidence improve dramatically. This guy is becoming a problem as a scorer. For Toronto, they have made three free throws so far. Haven't missed any. And when you look at their numbers from a season ago, 80% as a unit, that's something you'll be happy with. The first one falls. I think what's probably surprised me the most about Pascal Siakam is how prepared he is to be the primary scorer for an excellent team in the NBA. This guy has shown no hesitation. The Magic making a switch here. Carter Williams is checked in. Siakam hits them both. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. And here's Anthony from the arc. They get the rebound. The shot's good from Carter. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Siakam with it, and it's Carter picking him up. He gets that one. Siakam's got nine. Well, Siakam pushing right through the contact. Go ahead, young sir. To the middle. Here's Carter. And tonight he sends it right off the glass. For three, Van Vliet. He goes up again. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Michael Carter-Williams. Toronto shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. Ken Burge is checked in for the Raptors. Terrence Ross is checked in for the Magic. Siakam hits them both. Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. Here's Carter Williams. High arcing shot. Good on that shot. And with that, the Toronto lead is cut down to just four points in the bucket from Ross. Siakam deciding where to go with it. And they pick up two. Siakam's got ten points now just in this quarter. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. Back to Carter Williams. One twenty-nine left to play here in the second quarter. Three-pointer, Lowry. Second shot opportunity. He takes it up and lays it in. And now it's an eight-point Raptor lead. And Kevin, they've dialed up their activity this quarter. We're seeing them convert a lot of those second chance opportunities. Inside. And then Carter with the jam. That gives him a double-double in this one. Ten points and ten rebounds. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Here's Carter Williams. 
Following the basket by Fred Van Vliet. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And this is where Terrence Ross turns himself into a weapon. Drawing these fouls, getting to the free throw line. He is such an excellent free throw shooter. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And he knocks down the first one. Aaron Baines is checked in for Pascal Siakam. Orlando also making some changes. Bamba is checked in for Wendell Carter. And Hampton subbed in for James Ennis. And both free throws good for Ross. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. Now here's Van Vliet. Defense is right there. And it's Carter Williams with the ball for the Magic. They trail by six. Quick job of getting up the floor and creating early offense. You don't give the defense any chance to set up. Sometimes you just love an easy look. Outside Lowry. Pulls it up. And some nice defense there to end the quarter. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Raptors lead by four. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Here with Coach Clifford. What was the biggest problem for your guys in the first half? Well, you know what? We're a defensive team first, and we've been good defensively. We've been organized. We weren't that in that first half, and that's what we got to concentrate on to get the game going back our way. See if you revert back to your form in the second half. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, and we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. Kyle Lowry had a huge first quarter. He had 14 points, eight assists, and four rebounds. And taking a look at the Raptors, Kenny, what did you see out there? Man, that's been a great offensive rhythm to their game. So many of their baskets have come off assists. That's the sign of a team functioning at a high level. Keep the same ball movement in the second half, and that will be key. Check, what do you think about Orlando? Well, their bench production has been a major factor. Guys have been ready to go when their number is called. And it makes the second half go a lot easier on your main guys when you can spread the minutes around in the first half. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. We've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Kyle Lowry has just been sensational. And the way that he has helped out with the ball movement has been a difference maker early on. I don't know that you necessarily think of him as someone who's going to create for others, but boy, all night he's been willing to make the extra pass. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. On the court for Orlando, Otto Porter Jr. out there with Isaac. Then there's Harris. Then it's Markel Fultz. And it's Carter in at the center position. The Magic have shot 9 of 11 at the free throw line. Shooting two. First free throw is good. And Porter drops them both. Here's Siakam. And 
finished off by Siakam. Well, Mr. Siakam can elevate well above the rim. Nicely done. Carter right side. Over Boucher, and it's Carter missing. Raptors leading by four. There's the line to the hoop. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. Well, you love the unselfishness of Fred Van Vliet. This guy is so good recognizing when his teammates are open. Outside, Porter. To the inside. And Carter with the basket on the assist by Porter. That's 12 points for Wendell Carter. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Back to Lowry. From deep. From beyond the arc. And then some. Lowry's got 17. Wow, what a start. Three for three. Terrific play calling. Everything clicking out of the gates here. Isaac finds Fultz. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Here's Van Vliet. That one falls through. It's his sixth make from the floor this game. Now six for ten. Great play calling, great execution. Leads to four for four to start this half. Harris passes to Fultz. Van Vliet against Isaac. That one falls. Isaac's got his second bucket of the game to go. Now you can see why people are so excited about Jonathan Isaac showing off that scoring ability on the interior. But only the first miss of the second half. They come out here with authority. Harris's shot is off. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clippers have gone a perfect 7 of 7 from the line tonight. Well, we're into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes played. Down low, Carter. The basket good off the assist from Fultz. Fultz has got five assists in the game. Bully ball at its finest there. Carter Jr. brings a physical presence to this team. And that one is good. Siakam's got 20. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Fultz the pass to Harris. Orlando moving the ball around. Porter against Siakam. Isaac kicks to Harris. Pocket four. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Van Vliet. Drops in the breakaway layup. And it's a 12-point Raptor lead. Well, we've seen Fred Van Vliet play elite-level defense on the game's biggest stage. 2019 finals, he was brilliant. Get a look at the defense right there. Now, here's Fultz. He's got 13. Goes back up. Isaac trying to break free. And Carter lays it up and in. Carter's got 16. Well, offensively, this guy has been cooking. They're definitely not losing because of him. Throws it up high. The alley-oop layup. Very well done. Boy, Pascal Siakam plays at his own pace, able to find the open man. Outside, Porter. Pass to Fultz. It's tipped. Six on the shot clock. The Magic need to get a shot off here. Isaac misses. And so Siakam will bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. At one point, they led by 16. Well, because of his high basketball IQ, Fred Van Vliet understands catch and shoot. I'm shot ready. Jumper in. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. That Scal Siakam guy is really making a difference here. And he just keeps hitting shot after shot. They need to design a way to deny him the basketball. Make someone else beat him.
So both teams making some changes here. The three from Anthony. It's rebounded by Ananobi. Ananobi's got four rebounds now tonight. Passes it to Trent from outside the arc. Rebound by the Magic. Carter's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Took him no time at all on that one. Porter's got eight points. What a terrific looking shot by Porter. You can't leave him alone out there. Pass to Ananobi. To the paint. Here's Siaka. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And the Raptors lead by 14. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Fultz with the ball. Now guarded by Siakam. Fultz, no good. Listen, we know the mid-range game is in this guy's arsenal, but you wonder, should he have moved it just one pass more? Outside, Anthony. This one for three. Orlando gets it back. Order outside. He can't get that one. Toronto leading by 14. The pass to Van Vliet. He can't get that one to fall. Orlando's gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Fultz against Van Vliet. Fultz the pass to Porter. Just five on the clock. Pass to Trent. Now, Ananobi. Fires from deep. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Siakam's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Boy, they can't cut into this lead with him going stone cold. And only so much time to turn it around. No hesitation at all on the alley-oop. Saw his teammate with a pat to the hoop. And bang! Lobbed it right up there for him to finish. And he was ready for it when he elevated and made the catch. And the foul called on Pascal Siakam. That is his first foul of the game. Ken Birch has checked in for Toronto. Stanley Johnson comes in for OG Ananobi. Orlando also making some changes. Bamba has checked in for Carter. And Terrence Ross is subbed in for Markel Fultz. And it's the Magic with the ball. It's a 16-point game. Looking to get it going. Anthony can't hit. I I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Here's Trent. 16-point lead, the largest margin in the game. Five on the clock. Boy, a little indecisive. I think he wanted to kick it out, changed his mind, and ended up missing. Porter kicks to Ross. Their offense, Stone Cold. Another miss there. Out to the right wing. Trent. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. Van Vliet's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. And looking to stop this run and get back on track. Really needs to settle his guys down right now and get them refocused. here. Baines is checked in. Here's Carter Williams. And here is Ross. Shot clock at five. Bamba passes to Okiki. Deep two from Ross. The Magic again can't hit. And 
so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. He kicks to Bain. The shot from the low post is good. And the Raptors lead by 21. Well, great decision to kick it out. Trust that your teammate will knock down the shot. This is it to Bamba. To end the drought. The second chance effort. Nice touch on the bank shot. Bamba's got six. Well, excellent pursuit of the basketball by Mo Bamba. Love his effort there. Van Vliet with it. Bamba picks him up. And it's Muhammad Bamba with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Pass to Van Vliet. To the middle. Lock at six. Takes the three. And Bamba pulls it down. Bamba's got four rebounds in this game. Here's Ross. Toronto grabs the miss. Van Vliet with it. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Clearly a foul. This is his first free throw of the game. You know, this is not an area where they expect him to contribute. You know, he's a guy that shot below 70% last season. That free throw, no good. Kyle Lowry, he's checked in for Toronto. And a switcher also for Orlando. Hampton's checked in. And he's good on the second. The Magic trail by 20. Carter Williams, the pass to Ennis. Back to Carter Williams. A minute 42 left in the third quarter of the game. Good work defensively by Lowry. Here's 12 wow. hammering it in. Oh. My goodness, that was absolutely filthy. Oh, nasty. This building is stunned. He dug deep break into his bag of tricks there. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. We've got 108 left in the third quarter. Johnson, a wide open look. Tries again. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Well, I'll tell you, he's not afraid to take hits on the way to the free throw line. Kyle Lowry will manufacture points any way he has to. This is his second trip to the free throw line. Two shots. Free throw drops for Kyle Lauer. And some changes here for the Raptors. Chris Boucher's checked in for Aaron Baines. And OG Ananobi subbed in for Johnson. And the Magic making a change here as well. Carter's checked in. And so Lowry nails both of them. There's a minute left to play in the third. The pass to Okiki. Lowry against Carter Williams. Here's Ross. Not enough on that one as it misses. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Shots good by Boucher. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. Now here's Ross. 14 points for him. Here's Carter. And it's good. That bucket takes him to nine for 14. Terrence Ross. 15 seconds left to play in the third. Let's a floater go. And there's the nice lay-in by Lowry. Lowry's got seven points for the quarter. Good give him another. This guy may not be the tallest or most athletic, but Kyle Lowry can find ways to 
ways to score. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. It's the Raptors opening up a huge gap. We'll be back shortly, live from Toronto. So Lowry will bring it up for Toronto. They lead by 24. Their biggest margin. They've got Lowry. OG Ananobi is out there with Chris Boucher. And it's Trent in at the two-guard spot. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. No, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. At the line for your Raptors, Chris Boucher. At the line for two. And that one falls for Boucher. That one is no good. And here comes Harris leading the fast break. Down low. Hampton passes to Bronze Dakis. And it's off from three-point range. Toronto's gone outside a lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. Seven of 17. He couldn't believe how open he was. He just couldn't convert it. Hampton misses. Hampton's gone one of three from the field here. Here's Ananobi. Orlando grabs the miss. Bomba's got six rebounds now in the game. Hampton passes to Harris, shoots over Flynn. Harris's shot is off. Orlando's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Launches it. And it's Brasdakis missing. I think they could have got a better look right there. And he just a little over anxious, I think, to get that shot off. Ananobi, no good. Superb defense, guys. No way he's going to let him get off a clean look at the basket. Kicks to Hampton. Corner shot. The Magic again can't hit. Raptors have gotten off to a rough start in the fourth quarter, going 0 for 4 so far. Well, this is one of Bamba's big-time strengths. Send it back, Mo. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Uh, I mean, even from over here, you could see that one pretty clearly. Two shots. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Rodney Hood's checked in for OG Ananobi. Porter's checked in for Orlando. Fultz comes in for Hampton. He's perfect from the line this time. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Toronto calls timeout. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. It's tough to hide your communications. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail. Make it. 
Isaac's checked in for Orlando. Here is Lowry. Pass to Boucher. And again, Toronto no up. And so it's Fultz who brings up the ball for the Magic. They've only given up one point in the fourth quarter. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls for him. And Harris drops them both. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Lowry up top, guarded by Fultz. Lowry, good. And buckets like that have been hard to come by. Not the most exciting game. Both sides look way off in terms of their shooting. Well, you have to appreciate the defensive battle for sure. Both squads struggling on the offensive end. We call this grit and grind. Okiki passes to Porter. Count it. Good. Well, not too slim to mix it up inside. Nice work by Porter. Raptors leading by 21. Inside. Here's Siakam. That falls. Nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. Siakam's got 11 in the second half. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Pass to Okiki. Back to Porter. Six to shoot. To the left side wing. Let's it go from deep. They get it back. Isaac, the way up off target. The Raptors are gone just two of eight in this fourth quarter. The final quarter not treating them well so far. Deft touch on the alley -oop. Not only is Pascal Siakam elevating his offensive game, he's elevating his efficiency. He is working right now. There's Okiki. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. Shooting for Orlando. Otto Porter. Two shots. Shooting two. Free throw good. Porter. Bamba is checked in for Orlando. Anthony comes in for Harris. And Porter drops them both. Now, here's Lowry. Pass to Siakam. Back to Lowry. Just five on the clock. It's good. This guy has been such an effective shooter throughout his career. Kyle Lowry, a little space, and he's good. Fultz against Lowry. Boucher with the steal. Outside Lowry. And the pass to on and open. Back to Lowry. Van Vliet against Anthony. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Nicely done. They continue to attack inside, and that's ten points in a row in the paint. Some changes for Toronto. Aaron Baines comes in for Chris Boucher. And it's Stanley Johnson in for OG Ananobi. And the Magic making a change here as well. Carter, he's checked in for Bamba. We throw good, Siakam. And it's Fultz with the ball for the Magic. Oh. 
shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Well, you love that Mark Cole Fultz has the ability to draw the defense's hand and get himself to the foul line. At the line for two. Shooting two. First free throw is good, and the Magic making a change here. Ennis is jacked in. So one for two that time at the strike. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Normally, he'll drill that shot, and I'm, I'm sure they'll look to find him in that spot again. Uh, no doubt. Very good play call, good execution. Sometimes it just doesn't fall. I'll tell you, sometimes it's easier to hit the target with a bounce pass. That's perfectly done. Now, Lowry. Count that bucket. Lowry's got 27. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Lowry against Fultz. There's Porter with the three. And chance shot. A nice shot by Carter. He's got 20. Well, the problem is they haven't gotten production from any other spot. But right now, this guy is cooking. And Baines kicks to Van Vliet. Fultz brings the double team. On the wing, Johnson, outside Lowry. The teardrop falls in. Lowry's got eight points here in this quarter. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Lowry against Fultz. There's Porter with the three. Porter can't get that one to fall. In Toronto, they've gone through the fourth quarter shooting 50%. 7 of 14. Wasted no time on that one. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. And here are the Raptors now following the bucket by Orlando. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. Outside Anthony. Back to Fultz. Outside Porter. To the inside. Baines with the block. 17 foot shot on the way. The shot by Lowry, no good. Back to Porter. Pass to Anthony. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one on Johnson. Personal foul at the line for the Magic. Cole and taking two shots. Shooting two. That's good from Anthony. Some changes for Toronto. Watsonabe's checked in, and DeAndre Bembry's subbed in for Fred Van Vliet. And both free throws good for Anthony. Toronto's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Johnson outside. Passes to Bembry. No good on that one. And Orlando will come the other way. Here's Anthony. Banked in off the glass. Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. Rano shooting 53% from the floor. They're locked in. Here's Flynn to the middle. And the dunk by Bain. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. 
Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again, and that's the result of the work put in. Here's Braz Dacus. Spains with the block. Out to the wing. Flynn the pass to Baines. Over Hampton. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. And R.J. Hampton is going to pick up a foul. That is his first foul of the game. Carter Williams, he's checked in for Anthony. Michael Carter Williams. They're making this a runaway. And the only question for me right now is just how big the lead will eventually become. Now here's Flynn. Pass to Baines. The nine-foot shot. Bembry kicks to Flynn. And there's the pass to Bembry. And it's Orlando with the rebound. Here's Bamba, and the dunk by Bamba. One easy looks. Don't allow the defense to set up. What a beautiful fast break opportunity, and the finish pretty good. Now here's Flynn, pass to Watanabe. And Bamba pulls it down. And it's Carter Williams with the ball for the Orlando Magic. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Raptors. You don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Kyle Lowry. This guy has been shot making all night long. He commands the rock and takes over. Now here's Flynn. We've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Passes it to Baines. Pamba with the block. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's his second personal. Two shots. Foul. Elbow. Two. Shooting for Orlando. Michael Carter Williams. Two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. He doesn't get the second one. There's Bembry. And so Toronto takes this one, but by a big margin. It was a tale of two teams tonight, one that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Kyle. Looked like the defense really got it done for you tonight. You know, uh, we focused in a lot on defense uh, in the film session we did before the game, so we had to reemphasize the things that we worked on in the last couple of days of practice. That's been your identity as a team for a while. Congrats again. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alders, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. See you later.